Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to Rain Check. We, uh, we had a little fun time with, uh, where's my cursor? There we go. With David. He's, he's just a little guy, guys. He's just a little guy. He's, he's like the second funniest character in this game. Javier's obviously the funniest. It just, it is what it is. Yeah, let me adjust my seat. I don't want to just fall out of this thing in the middle of recording. It hasn't happened yet. But, you know... I don't want today to be the first time. Uh, thanks again, Mr. Theodore. Uh, don't mention it. I'm just glad you found your keys. <laughs> Me too. Well, I'm gonna go back to my room before they notice I'm gone. Uh, see you later, Mr. Theodore. And thank you too, Mr. Kristoff, security guard. Uh, he scurries off, leaving me uncomfortably alone with Christopher. Uh, I, I think it's time for me to go. <laughs> Shoot your shot. You never know. <laughs> He's a big bag. <laughs> I've still got some time to kill before I'm supposed to meet Ro here. I technically wait... I technically wait in the lobby, but I could, sorry, could technically wait in the lobby, but I just uh, be on my phone, and if that's the case, I should just chill in my room. At least there's a bed there. And you can charge your phone, so that that's not a problem again. I sigh and flop on the bed, feeling utterly exhausted. My mind drifts back to the gardens, then to David, and finally to his father. Ah... Uh, they're technically public figures, right? I should probably check on their wiki pages if I plan to visit. Curious, I grab my phone and search their names online. I know a few general things about Nodal Visions, like it's a rapidly growing global company, but I'm clueless about Nodal itself. Nodal himself? Notal. I direct myself to a wiki page on Nodal Lurks, scanning the page for anything interesting. Let's see, early life, education, looks pretty normal. Business career, says he started manufacturing after selling AR headsets. Uh, blueprints in his basement, not surprising. I gloss over the rest of the page, but not really catching, nothing really catches my eye until I reach the bottom, where there's a label, a section labeled SCANDALS. Oh, we just go straight there, right? Right. Victim of hacking. Oh, huh. It's pretty short, but filled with a lot of names and dates. Nodal phones and laptops were compromised days after he joined a partnership with the Delta Antarctic Expedition, uh, revealing scalding, scalding? scalding insider information about the oil industry. And it looks like this happened just over a year ago. I decided to check on over uh, David, check over David on the wiki, but soon learned this page is tiny compared to his father's. The page mainly mentions that he's turning 20 uh, later this year, and that he runs a magazine catalog, which is nothing I didn't already assume or know. My concentration begins to wane, but I can't suppress a yawn, making my fatigue uh, suddenly apparent. I still have time. I could take a quick nap. No! You gotta meet up with the wolver! <laughs> Tigor! Theodore! Okay. The lobby's crowded with people now that it's closer to noon. There we go. We, we, we made it. We made it. Uh, speaking of which, good thing I came down early. I can use this time to grab a bite. I scan the area for a coffee shop or something, but spot a familiar figure over by the sofas. Is that Javier? What's he doing here? And it's so early at that. I thought I was supposed to meet Ro. I make my way over and spot the fox eating some kind of wrap before he notices me as well and shoots me a look. Eh. Why, why, is he, why is he eyeing me like that? <laughs> I'm just a little guy. <laughs> uh, hey, Javier. You're here early. Uh, good morning, Theodore. I could say the same about you. His attention uh, returns to his wrap and phone in his paw. Before you ask, Ro went out to load his, car, load his things in the car. Oh, what's going on? Where's he going? Did he not tell you? Uh, no, the only thing he told me was to come here at noon. Javier continues to stare uh, apathetically at me as he finishes the last of his rap. We've finished what we've come here to do, and we'll be moving locations later tomorrow. Meaning, Ro is checking out. Uh, uh, I, I see. 
No. <laughs> uh, he smiles at me for a second before reaching for a small bag on the sofa and offering it to me. Are you hungry? No, it's okay. It, take it. I can tell you're hungry. I can't finish it. I graciously take the bag from the fox and I take out the wrap before munching on it. Oh, thanks. What is this? Fajitas? Is that what that is? Is that what that's called? I can't eat those most of the time. My stomach is not, not for that. I take a bite and nodding at the rich flavor. Oh, well, this is good. Of course it is. I made them. Oh, look at that. Look at this guy having multiple skill sets. The fox wa fox's tail wags briefly before he is serious demeanor returns, and he sizes me up. Listen. Ro told me everything this morning. Everything? Yes, everything. Do you really feel so strongly about your convictions? Or is it mainly just to get closer to Ro? Why not both? His, uh... <laughs> Unexpected a uh, question leaves me taken aback, but his uh, intense stare uh, feels like it's delving into the depths of my soul. <laughs> Just so we're clear, we both understand how Ro is, right? I think so. I reply, unsure of what Javier is implying. I will be blunt. I don't care if you guys have sex, but if that's the main reason... Wait, no, it's not, really. I interrupt Javier firmly, feeling a mix of offense and flustered emotions from his remark. I... I really feel strongly about this. I feel like I've done more the past three days than most of the stuff I've done with my life for a while. And I won't lie, a small part of me is doing this to get closer to Ro, but it's not for the sex. I look away in embarrassment, but there's no point in lying to Javier, he already knows. Then what is it? I struggle to form a coherent sentence, my flustered state making it difficult to process my emotions. You understand this isn't a game, right? We're doing a job that requires precision, and the stakes are higher than ever now. I can't let you two be distracted by one another. I know. Fox sighs and pulls out a small tablet from a bag by his feet. But it's not like I don't see how... Uh, see some potential in you. <laughs> You're lucky I find you bearable, and not the dead weight. I believe there are certain potential leads that we should explore with you at some point, too. That being said, I wasn't able to contact my boss, so this will have to <clears throat> this will have to do for now. He taps a the tablet a few times before handing it over to me. Here, sign this. What is this? A contract? Yes, one which you'll, you'll need to sign if you wish to join us. You'll be labeled as an ad... ad... hoc? hoc? Informant. Right. I nod, but a frown starts to form when I look closer at... closer look at the contract. No independent action clause, and no interference with law enforcement clause. Uh, ethical boundaries clause, liability cl oh, excuse me, liability clause, oh, just lots of things. I scroll through the documents, revealing several more concealed headers. Concerning headers, is that what that said? Oh, Javier's going, Javier's going, he's doing his thing. We hold you personally liable for any legal issue that arises from your actions during the investigation. I stare at Javier, who seems like he's just about done with me, before returning to the tablet. Uh, isn't this a little too much? It's what's needed for our safety. I'm not forcing you to sign it. Do whatever you want. I will say, you were already upholding these uh, stipulations, so it's not much, uh, it's not too much of an ask to have it in writing. Well, one more thing. If you sign it, you'll have to have our... Uh, we'll have to have our eyes on you at all times. You're, uh, our responsibility now. Oh, well, it's not such a bad thing. <laughs> uh, he shakes his head and rubs his temple, realizing the words he just said. So, sign it before I regret my decision. It seems like I don't have any other choice. 
I scroll down and neatly sign my name on the dotted line before passing the tablet back to him. Perfect. Let's wait for Ro to get back before we continue further discussions. No need to wait. I'm here. I can't help but smile upon seeing Ro, and he returns a quick nod at me. Took you long enough. Theodore had just finished signing the form. I'll see if I can get a hold of Andrew later. Uh, good to know. That was the only other, <clears throat> the only uh, opinion Javier and I, uh, option, not opinion, option, Javier and I could come up with. Yes, and now that you're back, we can go over the next steps. I suggest we discuss this away from prying eyes. Do you have everything you need? The fox stares at me impatiently. What do I need? Where are we going? Somewhere with some more privacy. You have everything you need on you. We won't be coming back later tonight to drop you off. Oh, I pat my pockets, wallet, uh, check, phone, check. What about the change of clothes? Yeah, all good. Have your gestures to row, his eyes still fixed on me. It's not that I don't trust him, but we need to keep a closer uh, look on him at all times. There's no need for him to come back tonight. So I recommend you take his belongings, and he'll be staying with us. Uh, just how long is this investigation going to last? I'm only going to be here until the end of the week, before I need to go back home. Yes, I'm aware of that. Ro also told me that you have no major uh, commitments afterwards, so ARC will provide a proper compensation for your time. This is a con contingent on how successful we are on the mission. Investigation. Unless you'd prefer to stay for the remainder of your time, I could stay with you at night. Oh. Javier clears his uh, throat in annoyance. May I remind you, I'm the one driving, and I will not be babying the two, you two back and forth every night, especially not at the, uh, not to the downtown core. Uh, the wolf strikes uh, Javier a, a snide stare, snide stare, and it looks like they're about to argue. It's fine, it's fine. Uh, I don't need, I don't mind checking out early if it comes to that. Uh, I'll get my stuff. Great. I suggest you say your goodbyes to the Grand Marine. We won't be returning except for checkout, as there might still be some use for for access here, at least for now. The fox picks up his bag and starts walking towards the exit. I'll be waiting outside. I need to make room for Theodore. My attention returns to Ro, who's looking at me sympathetically. Are you good? You look a bit lost. Yeah, I think I'm fine. Everything's just going to be just going a bit fast, but it should be a yeah, it should be expected. Expected. Okay, that's that word. I am sorry. I looked at that word and it was just gone. It was half a word. Look, it's hard to explain. Uh, expected, right? Yes. And what did you t what did you and Javier talk about? He spoke about the contract. I look away uh, from Rose's watchful eye. And about you? Me? About what? I shake my head and uh, shrug back at the wolf. He thinks I'm just trying to tag along just to get in your pants. But that's not true. Ro gives a, a deep, hearty chuckle. Ironic coming from him. I admit, I came on a bit strong the other day. I'm still trying to work some things out. There's a gentle pat on my shoulder, with a uh, row smiling at me. <laughs> Don't worry. If anything, it was my fault for my advances. We can talk about this later. Oh, yay. <laughs> uh, he uh, playfully punches my shoulder, his ear is perked up. <laughs> for now, welcome to the team. <laughs> you're in for, you're in this for real. Uh, thanks, I'll try my best. <laughs> Good. You seem to have a knack for this. Now, let's get your stuff before Javier starts bitching. I hop into the back of the car. Javier is uh, configuring the dashboard while Rose staring out the window. 
ready to go. I like the tra- I like to beat traffic for once. Yeah. We pull out of the driveway, my eyes glued to the Grand Marine Towers above the street as we drive off. Guess I won't be back for a while. Now, let's talk about our next stops. Next steps, sorry. <laughs> the items we collected so far have been mostly processed, and we can go back to over the findings together. How's the USB? Ugh, <sighs> corrupted. No thanks to you. But luckily, my phone survived. <laughs> That's good. I can feel my face warm from embarrassment. I still feel awful about what happened. It's Javier's fault. He didn't teach you how to use it. Like, there were levels, eh? I'm assuming Theodore is coming along with us tonight. Correct. He'll be extremely useful, especially with what Lawrence wants us to do. What does he want us to do? I was just about to get to that. I spoke with him earlier, and it turns out the place we're headed to later is a speakeasy, not a pub. There's been reports of suspicious dealings that involve skeleton, and seems to be a prime hotspot for people to gather. Right, so we're going there uh, to get intel about uh, said dealings? That's part of it. The main reason is to find out some- is to find someone. Who? The survivor. Wait, what? Oh, was that Ro? Whoops. <laughs> oh, the survivor. Exactly. We can always use another pair of eyes scouting things out. And not to mention your eyesight is exceptional. Wait, survivor? Wait, wait did you- don't mean the survivor from the, the harbor fire? Yes, that's the one. Uh, there were sl there were sightings of them at the li library. Uh, sorry, a library? That's the name of the speakeasy. What do they look like? Uh, do we have any information on that? We don't know their species. We just know that they are they have notable burn marks on their arm and upper body. Nothing else. No public record or anything. There are only fragments of blurry images online from old news sites, all reporting the same thing. But in terms of official records regarding the survivor, it looks like they all... they were all scrubbed clean. Aww. I feel, something uh, feels off about this, but I'm not sure what it is. I wonder what uh, Ro is thinking. He's been awfully quiet. Uh, how do you feel about this, Ro? It's promising. Although, I'm not sure how to re how reliable this lead is. But, it, uh, uh, yes, uh, but it doesn't hurt to scout the uh, location out, especially with our recent discoveries at the power plant. The fox doesn't say any more, instead focusing on the device, with the ambience uh, slowly filling the car as we all stay silent. After some time, Javier turns onto a familiar street, where I recognize certain unique landmarks and buildings. Hey, aren't we near Dust Cafe? Correct. I'm going to make a quick stop. I need to pick something up. Aw, oh, they're gonna get bagels. <laughs> the fox uh, drives down the street and into a small empty parking lot a few buildings down from the Puma's Brew. Stay here. This should be quick. You're not going along, Ro? The wolf shakes his head. He mentioned uh, uh, to me he needs to pick up some supplies for the investigation. A dust cafe? <laughs> Knowing him, it's probably something mundane. Right. So, where are we going afterwards? Javier's apartment. Ooh, we get to see apartment. Oh, wait, really? I thought we were going to some facility or lab to look over the stuff we found recently. He does all of it at his house. Uh, he says it's easier for him than having to transport to and fro the office. Office, sorry. That makes sense. Uh, does he live far from here? <laughs> no, another few minutes north of here. I look out the window, trying to visualize where that would be where I see when I see Javier making his way back, carrying a large brown bag in his paws. Oh, he's back. He approaches my door, and I instinctively open it, assisting him in taking the bag from his paws. Ugh, talk about heavy. You can set that aside on the floor. I furrow my brows as I take a look into the back, look, 
take the bag from the struggling fox. Wait, this isn't heavy at all. What's in the bag? Curious, I decide to peer inside. What's this uh, large, suspicious plastic bag of white powder and a jar of liquid? Obviously, for his cocaine addiction. <laughs> okay. Javier rolls his eyes as uh, Ro teasing, uh, at Rose teasing, clearly unamused. I'm amused. No, you mutt. It's baking soda. I ran out and need more to develop more... Uh, to develop some latent fingerprints. Oh, cool. Oh, what's the water for? It's ethanol, and I need it as a solvent. Only dust can obtain such high concentrations with his food license. <laughs> Drug addict and alcoholic. What happened to you, Javier? <laughs> <laughs> it's because I have to put up with you. The two continue their banter as I'm just caught in the middle of it, chuckling between their remarks. Oh, we finally arrive after a couple of a couple of turns. I didn't expect Javier to live in such a, a rustic looking place. Rustic, rustic. Is that what we're calling it? He mentioned something about cheap rent on the way to the way up, but still. Oh, cheap rent. <laughs> what is this? What is this IKEA apartment? What is this? <laughs> uh, all right, everyone. I'm gonna I'm gonna end the part here. So I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you guys around.